Yeah, 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 yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Real quick before we get into the meat and potatoes, listen, man, I got the best solution for anybody trying to beat their sports book. I know you've been hearing about BetQL a lot lately, as as a lot of Philadelphia Eagles content creators are tied in with BetQL. That's because it's a product that we all trust. Use code Lord, get use the best bets modulator, save 20% off. Listen, go and do what you're supposed to do. I'm telling you, man, a lot of people winning this bread. A lot of people winning this bread. I'm here to spread you the message of good news. Go download BetQL. Go to the App Store. Check it out, man. You already know the vibes. Listen, man. Oh, yeah. And shout out to my supporters who donated money, I think, a week ago to the Hat Fund. You know what I'm saying? The Hat Fund is simply, I mean, I don't even know if it's a fund. I just called it the Hat Fund because they donated so much money. So what I did was took that money and bought a bunch of hats, and I'm giving them out. Hurt Season hats, rents due hats, just multiple orders. You know what I mean? Uh, it's kind of random. So about 10 to 15 hats went out last night and we're going to pick some more people randomly and ask them for the address you just dm me and bang you get you a hat that's all free shipping everything just come right to your crib you know what i mean shout out to the print champs you know what i mean for helping out with that also um if you've been trying to look on the website you know what i mean it's uh use Q- code qb1 to purchase your hat the website is undergoing maintenance they make it look real good for y'all it's going to be up real soon probably tomorrow but check that out listen jordan my the video that i had in the chamber a big man in the building the video that i had in the chamber about Jordan Mailata, um, it, it was more about how we can use him in a game plan. Now, this news is just throwing me for a loop. Uh, Jordan Mailata apparently got rolled up on in practice. They're saying he has an MCL sprain. Um, uh, you, you know, this is an interesting time for this, man. Think about it like this. Now, he very well could be injured. I'm not trying to say that he's not injured. I'm not trying to go into no theories here. But think about it, though. Think about it from this aspect. Could this be the first hint of smoke and mirrors in a Nick Sirianni era? Could this be some smoke and mirrors? Because, listen, you got a late Monday night game. I think it could play. Even if he is nicked up, I think he can rest, and I think he can be ready to go by Monday at 8 p.m. You know what I mean? It's very, very likely. He wasn't yet ruled out. I haven't seen him ruled out. They're saying it's a possibility that he might not play, so Andre Dillard should be getting ready to suit up. I'm actually excited to see Andre Dillard. Now, if I had my choice, of course, it would be Jordan Mailata. I was starting to forget Andre Dillard's name. You know what I mean? And I guess that's a good thing. Um, But Jordan Mailata... um, you know, him being out, you got to turn to your, your, your former first round pick and Andre Dillard. And Andre Dillard has the opportunity to go out there and put on some good film because he probably won't be back next year. He has that opportunity to go out there and put on some film. So I'm kind of happy for him in that sense. And I think he's going to show up. You're going to have to make me believe that Michael Parsons is going to be, be able to push around my, my lot and all of those guys. Now, no disrespect to Andre Dillard. He might got a chance against Andre Dillard because Andre Dillard does, spe- does uh, struggle with the, you know, the bull rush speed combination and Michael Parsons got to be strong if they even wanted to think about putting him down there we already know he's fast so he's gonna have his hands full with that I think it's gonna be a good test for him I think it's gonna be a good test for him you gotta know the Cowboys defensive staff after hearing this news is probably licking their chops because the last thing they wanted to do was match up you know what I'm saying Micah Parsons on my ladder I was already rumors of him going to Lane Johnson's side Lane Johnson is smaller than my ladder could have been an easier matchup but they're probably going to throw Micah Parsons right in the face of Andre Dillard this uh, Monday night uh, Andre Dillard got to go Andre Dillard got to go out there and put his best foot forward I don't think the game plan should change the only way the game plan should change is if you planned on giving my lot of some carries you know what i'm saying then the game plan would change that's what my original my original video was about you know i had some diagrams and all this stuff drew up but we're not going to talk about it unless he plays or not think about it like this and I got this from uh, I got this from in the comment section. You know what I mean? Shout out to uh, the guy that was in my last uh, in the live stream lunchtime with the bullies. He said, "LB, I agree with you. Giving my lot of some Kyries. If you put my lot of out there and let him hit them dudes, and you have some packages to have my lot of in the backfield and Andre Dillard in my lot of spot, they would be putting ten in the box." 10 in the box to stop Jordan Mailata after a couple runs. I'm telling you. They will go crazy 8 in the box to stop this dude. You know what I mean? And you could come back that with some play action of Mailata, draw something up. It's all about how you can scheme this, bro. It's all about how you can scheme this. That defense will start to shift all over the place with Jordan Mailata in the field period, in the backfield period. It's a rugby player, man. I'm all for seeing what Jordan Mailata can bring to this team in terms of carrying the football. I would love to see it. But at the end of the day, like we just heard, he might not be playing. And that's 
a blow in itself to the blocking and to the, and to the way that he hits. I want this game to be physical with the Philadelphia Eagles. You know what I mean? I want us to get out there and hit people and run and knock people over. Jordan Mailata is born and bred for that. He's a rugby player. But, you know, man, we're going to tap more into this at um, 8 o'clock tonight on Philly Mike's channel. It's Goat Talk, the podcast, episode 3. We're going to talk about it, man. We're going to talk about the Jordan Mailata situation. Obviously, the Dallas Cowboys situation is coming down the pipe on Monday night. And, and, and you know, how do we beat these dudes? How do we beat these dudes? We're going to talk. We're going to let you know how you beat the Dallas Cowboys tonight at 8. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you think in the comments, man.